Hello, hello, I'm Alexander F. L. Newberry, and I'm here to take you through the Tiger Multiplication Level 1 book. Come on in. So the first thing I'd like to do is explain a little bit more about three-way thinking, number fluency, and growth mindset. So three-way thinking is being able to work out a sum in all of its three different possible ways. In other words, we can do x plus 2 equals 3 just as easily as we could do 1 plus y equals 3, or the more usual 1 plus 2 equals z. So we call this three-way thinking. And what you'll find is that most students, when they come to a brain training book, or specifically they come to this brain training book, um, they will be slower at types x and y, the first two that I mentioned. And this book will allow them to become equally fluent across all types. And of course, when we get to working out algebra in particular, equations where there's x on both sides of the equal sign, this ability to work in both directions is extremely important. And so breaking the mould, if you like, of uh, the way that most kids learn to think, which is 1 plus 2 equals something, is really, really important to prepare them for this transition into algebra and more complex maths. So three-way thinking is a really important part of what the Numberella Brain Training series does. The second thing we can talk about is number fluency. Now, this may seem like an obvious concept. The faster you can think in numbers, the better it must be for your maths. But the reality is that most children, uh, indeed most people, will never actually achieve number fluency in anything other than the very, very most basic of sums. You know, all of us, if we hear one plus one, will probably get the answer two without thinking about it. Uh, but what number fluency is about is building that ability right up, uh, you know, through through the times tables across all the numbers, uh, 0 to 12 in the first instance. And then as we move into Tiger Level 2, Tiger Level 3, we start building a fluency into much harder numbers. And so what that means is that the conversation around maths, which is so important when, when a student's sitting in a lesson and trying to understand what the teacher is saying, you have to have a base level fluency to be able to take part in that conversation. If you are not uh, on the ball when someone says, well, we all know that 4 times 8 is 32. If you don't know that 4 times 8 is 32, you start to get lost in the conversation. So number fluency is absolutely fundamental for any student who's trying to learn maths. And the tragedy is that most of them never get it. And that's why we as adults, most of us as adults, never have it either. So numbers always remain this half learnt uh, subject, this, this half-learned language, which it's not actually that difficult to get fluent in. So growth mindset, uh, as we see here, was actually made famous by Carol Dweck and wonderful work she did in showing us that uh, children can have a, a growth or a fixed mindset and how important it is to help them towards a growth mindset where they're not put off by um, their failures, but indeed are encouraged by the idea that failure is all part and parcel of the learning process and actually can be celebrated in some way. Although, of course, we must not imbue them with the idea that failure is a culture that we encourage. We must fail with the view to succeeding. Anyway, in the terms of these uh, number of brain training series, they help children towards a growth mindset because they physically demonstrate how much improvement is possible with not that much extra work, with not that much practice. It's not unusual to see a 100% improvement in processing speed in any particular discipline over the course of one book. Now, not all students will get that and it can take much longer with some students, but it's happened time and time again. Students will pick up this book and at the end of it, they're like, whoa, I'm 100% faster than I was three weeks ago. And that is amazing. And it, it breaks open in their mind the idea that they can actually achieve things they would have thought completely impossible prior to beginning work in this book. OK, so this book is an enabler of a growth mindset. And it's incredibly important to give children that uh, that opportunity to, to build a growth mindset, to break the mould of thinking they are predestined to fail in a subject that they can never be as fast as their peers. It simply isn't the case. Just as all of us can speak fluently, all of us can do numbers fluently. Yeah.